We're just under a thousand acres in Bay Saginaw, Tuscola County. Family farm, I'm the fourth generation on this particular farm, fifth generation in the county. The home farm's just up the road where it all started in the 1850s. And we raise corn, soybeans, and wheat. Besides being basically a full-time farmer, I've got another full-time job up at Central Michigan University where I teach metals technology and pre-engineering technology classes in metals technology and power and energy. I also teach computer numeric control for machining. Yeah, I really like teaching up at CMU, especially for the fact that I teach mostly freshman classes. So a lot of times I get to be the first professor they've ever had. We talk about biofuels and biomass and what that actually means. So when we get into, say, ethanol production, we talk about how do you figure out the true environmental cost when you go through and you calculate in how the Haber-Bash process affected nitrogen and how that's actually coming from a fossil fuel. Is it truly a green zero carbon emission fuel? And how do you go back and calculate those kinds of things? The, the whole tone of teaching power and energy has changed a lot in the last 10 years that I've been up there. When we start talking about things in terms of sustainability and what, what those factors actually are, I think that's one of the most exciting things about my job. I'm talking about how if you're talking about a wind farm, where are you going to put that wind farm? You're not going to put it in the middle of the city, by, by guess. You're going to be putting it out into the country. Who, who has the land out in the country? It comes back to farmers again. If you talk about ethanol, biomass, somebody's got to be raising that crop, which comes back to farmers again. So it's kind of neat to be on both sides of that fence. About four months ago, I got asked by the Saginaw County Republican Party to run for 7th District County Commission in Saginaw County. Just like every other part of the state, I think we need somebody who can actually run a business and understands how hard money is to get and how dear it can be, especially to the voting pub public that we've got to be able to sit down and figure out a budget, something that we can work within our means. And the county needs that right now, and that's an area that I don't feel they're getting it. So, I feel in this world you've either got to do something about it or you're not really allowed to talk about it anymore. So, I choose to do something.